So right now we're at Cesar Chavez Elementary. Playworks, the foundation, is here and we get to come and hang out with the kids at recess and Playworks' mission is to create positive non-bullying recess environments and so they invite us to come and play with the kids and help them create these environments and it's really cool for us to make connections with kids in the community. Good job, you guys are all so fast. Good job. So we Woo! got involved this year with the University of Portland, had an orientation over there with some staff members from Portland, and then they came here and did a little intro, and now they're coming every week, and it's awesome to have them out here. Pretty much we just come out and play with them at recess. It's a good way to establish positive role models, and it's also just a good way to have fun with the kids. I think that being in school all day, it's really good for them to blow off a little bit of energy, come out here and just have a good time. Welcome back to Portside. Pooh Jetter played basketball on the bluff from 2002 to 2006. He was a three-year starter and he is still the school's number two career leading scorer with 1,708 points. But it is his time off the court that means the most to him. Now in the off season of his pro career in China, Jetter returned to the campus that made a huge impact on his life. This is Jetter. It's a three. Growing up, I matured here from 18 to 22 years. Like for four years, man, it was a tremendous learning experience. I knew everybody, you know, and me coming back here, it was a celebration, you know, and that's what I love. I'm so thankful because it prepared me for the Ukraines and the Israels and the Chinas and. Man, I love Portland. I am a pilot. I say that from my high school. Like, I'm a cavalier. I'm a pilot. The things that you did for me, like, I don't know if I could repay that, you know? So, but for sure I know I could repay it with love and time. I'm my little brothers, man, so I'm really gonna look out, dog. So, we're family. And I want everybody to reach their best. We need to talk to people who experience things, and I'm right here for you. Since I graduated in 2006, my first year out, you know, I was, I was with the NBA Development League. Second year, I went to Ukraine. Then after that, my fifth year, I was with the Sacramento Kings. You know, that was a, a dream come true. Then my sixth year, I went back to Spain. And the last four seasons, I've been in China, playing for uh, Shandong Gold, and then it changed to Shandong High Speed. Now, I finished my 10th year. You know, hopefully I have five more healthy years. But now, Lace. Lace is my shoe clothing boutique in Londale, California. LaceLifestyle.com if you definitely want to do stuff online. Shoes and clothing has always been my passion. You know, also with going with basketball. And I, and I was told you always find what you love to do. And, and, and as long as you're having fun with it, continue with it. So I started my own clothing line and it's doing tremendous. Just continue to stay tuned. The Positive Coaches Alliance is a national nonprofit organization that provides resources for youth and high school student athletes that encourages a supportive environment for kids on the field and on the court. The alliance has expanded to Portland and recently held their first ever PCA Chalk Talk which featured two-time UP women's soccer national champion Colleen Little and men's soccer head coach Nick Carlin Voigt. The event was the first of many in the Portland area and was a chance for two UP representatives to share how positive coaching has impacted their lives. We believe that if you provide a positive character building opportunity for, for students and athletes, that they can enjoy sports and still have fun playing and develop and get all the character and life building lessons that can be taught through sport. I'm a product of positive coaching. It was fantastic to be part of the kickoff tonight in Soccer City USA and represent the brand and it was a great honor and it was a privilege to be up here and really excited that PCA is coming to the city, Portland. It was those positive, positive coaches and positive influences in my life that really inspired me to want to continue to, to have sport in my life. My message is the, the influence that a coach can uh, have on someone's life 
for years and years after they've been done playing the sport that I wouldn't be where I am today without Clive. And there's many of us in this room uh, and in this uh, state that wouldn't be where they are without Clive. And that um, really all he did was uh, teach us life lessons and uh, teach us to have fun and enjoy the game. You would never know it, but before the semifinal game against Penn State that, that year, our final session, we played kickball. Before the final against Santa Clara, instead of practicing soccer, Clive had us tie our cleats together would buy the shoelaces and see who could throw them the farthest. It took the pressure off. It was just fun. He allowed us to play, he allowed us to learn, and he allowed us to just simply love the game. When we get groups like the University of Portland who have such a strong reputation in our city, helping to promote and advocate for doing things the right way, it just helps to elevate the cause. The power and the impact that, that we all have as leaders and coaches on our students' lives, and if we can make soccer a great part of their day, but using soccer as a tool really to teach lifelong lessons and to help prepare our kids for success both on and off the field is a major takeaway for me. Coming up, profiles of Parks Kendrick and Kaylee Van Loo from the UP track program. I like to use running as my like outlet. I don't really think of going to practice as like a burden. I think of it as an integral part of my day that I need in order to be able to do well academics as well.